The cryptocurrency market is notoriously volatile in nature. Even the most established tokens and coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum are highly subjective to sudden fluctuation. Trading or investing in newer coins and tokens can come with high significant risk unless you understand what exactly you are putting yourself into, especially your hard-earned money. Hello, welcome to this introduction video to cryptocurrency fundamental analysis. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to understand how to conduct a fundamental analysis in any cryptocurrency coin of choice as a crypto trader or as an investor. Fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis refers to the method used by traders and investors to establish the intrinsic value of an asset or business by just looking at several factors, which include both internal and external factors, with the main goal to determine if the said asset or business is undervalued or overvalued. Investors as well as traders leverage these fund information to strategically determine when to enter or exit trade successfully. The cryptocurrency fundamental analysis differs in so many ways from the traditional market fundamental analysis. While the fundamental analysis of the traditional market involves studying things like companies' earnings, balance sheet, financial statement, and cash flow to understand its financial head status, the cryptocurrency market tends to use a different matrix and cannot be successfully approached on the same way you approach the traditional market because the information takes a different turn when it comes to cryptocurrency and no single company or entity is meant to own or be responsible for the project as a result of what is known as decentralization. Cryptocurrency is not necessarily subject to international regulations when it comes to reporting requirements. Unlike publicly listed companies traded on the traditional market who has to make quarterly reports using recognized accounting standards, traditional business matrix like liquidity ratios that look at the solvency of conventional companies are kicked straight through the window when it comes to the cryptocurrency market fundamental analysis. All transactions can be publicly audited on the blockchain, while the funding team must keep the community informed of their roadmap. Fundamental analysis in the cryptocurrency markets involves the studying of the three most important metrics, which include blockchain metrics or on-chain metrics, financial metrics, project metrics for crypto traders and investors to better understand this metric we are going to break it further down for you easier to comprehend blockchain metrics to better understand blockchain metrics we need to study the three most fundamental metrics to a cryptocurrency blockchain analysis which are hash rate status and active addresses as well as transaction values and fees but how does this data grant a crypto trader or an investor an insight on what position to buy to understand this better let's break it down hash rate blockchain plays a significant role in securing the network so diving into the data can prove valuable for traders as well as investors during the crypto fundamental analysis hash rate refers to the combined computational power used in mining to power Phone calculation on a proof of work blockchain. Hash rates are estimated based on publicly accessible data, but the true hash rate is never actually known. Many crypto investors see hash rate as proof of the health of the cryptocurrency in question. The higher the hash rate, the more miners are incentivized to mine for profit and the more secure the network will be. Also, calculating the hash rate can help miners determine their own profitability. However, when the hash rate rate begins to decline, miners might begin to find the cryptocurrency unprofitable leading to miners' capitulation. Capitulation often happens when markets spiral low, creating pressure for miners to sell off their hardwares. Low hash rate indicates a loss of interest on the part of investors. Status and active addresses. The active addresses measures the number of active blockchain addresses over a period of time. The simplest way to approach this is to total the number of sending and receiving addresses over various period, then tally the active addresses over a period of days, weeks or months, and you compare the growth or decline to judge the activity and interest in the coin or token. Another way to approach this is to total the number of unique addresses within predefined period and then compare the results.
transaction value and fees a consistently growth in high transaction value shows that a cryptocurrency is in steady circulation why comparison we review data concerning potential future market movements fees reflect the demand on the blockchain on how many transactions are paying to be added to the blockchain as quickly as possible by assessing fee paid over various period this gives you an idea of how secure a coin or a token is note that transaction fee are not fixed and can naturally increase over time based on the block subsidy or block reward or when the block reward are reduced relatively to the mining difficulty because without adjusting the reward cryptocurrency miners will begin working at a loss and start dropping off the blockchain the next second most important metrics is known as the financial metrics here the goal of crypto traders and investors when carrying out fundamental financial metrics analysis is to produce a quantitative value to analyze the prospect of the coin. The financial metrics include things like market capitalization, liquidity, circulatory supply, and surrounding factors and market response. So let's break this down and understand how we can use this to analyze further what coin to choose market capitalization the market capitalization value is the presentation of a network value this is calculated by multiplying the current price by the supply of coins in circulation be warned the market capitalization can sometimes offer misleading valuation if you fail to factor in other metrics like liquidity after all a poorly circulated altcoin with a total supply of 150 million and a handful of transaction exchange at five dollar that does not literally mean that each of those coins is worth five dollars in general investors believe that low market cap coin have higher growth potential even though high market cap also points to stronger infrastructure and lasting power though they may be lost wallets forgotten funds or irretractable keys which means that we will never truly know precisely how many coins are in circulation but market capitalization will offer in an approximation for a coin network value liquidity liquidity refers to the measure of how easy it is to buy or sell a crypto coin on an exchange if a cryptocurrency asset can be quickly bought or sold without drastically altering the market value then liquidity is said to be strong a liquidity cryptocurrency or token we have many buyers and sellers waiting on the list to be filled and this in turn narrows the bid ask spread which is very solid measure of liquidity trading volume trading volume refers to how many units of any asset has changed hands over a specific period volume is a useful indicator to crypto traders and investors as well as indicator of a coin or tokens ability to sustain momentum it is believed that if an upward trend is backed by a high trading volume the gain may be more likely to continue conversely price fluctuation without significant trading volume may just be a trap circulating supply circulating supply refers to the total number of coin or token in active supply that are accessible to the public it should be noted that circulating supply is different from the total supply or maximum potential supply circulating supply are not static and can change over time since coin can be bond also mining activities can increase the circulatory supply of a mineable cryptocurrency and developers may decide to increase the number of coin or token circulating in a centralized supply the third aspect of the most important metrics is known as the project metric to better understand how project metrics will help us let's break it down project metrics here as a crypto trader and investor you are expected to take a qualitative approach to evaluating the performance of a cryptocurrency you are to focus on internal and external factors such as purposes or problem or solution that the cryptocurrency project is trying to solve how the crypto projects operate factors to consider include things like project background analysis project white paper competitors on ground comparison to competitors product roadmap tokenomics and utility so we're going to try to break this down one after the other starting with background analysis background analysis normally crypto project websites do include list of their team members on their websites but as a crypto trader and an investor you are expected to carefully research the team profile behind the project by looking at their track records it can shed light on the likelihood of the success of the current project all past experiences and accomplishments should be well 
well-documented, providing insight into the team and also by considering any early backers or advisors to the project in order to assess credibility and not fail or fall victim to scam project known as shitcoin. Our next look is the project paper known as white paper. White paper in cryptocurrency is a document that outlines the purpose and operation of the project. White papers is the most important document of any cryptocurrency project and should be studied. It should contain the minimum of the following information. Blockchain technology solution that will be used in the project. Use case of the cryptocurrency that will be created. Planned future and future upgrades of the project. Token economics and sales information of the cryptocurrency detail information of team members that are taking part in the project studying a cryptocurrency white paper requires a bit of skepticism and a good look at any third party reviews about the project online like google would be of help the next thing we will look at when considering fundamental analysis of any token is the competitor comparison it is well known that market competition can weed out winners from losers easily so doing a thorough search for possible market competitors can help crypto investors identify the landscape in which each project must compete therefore understanding the overall ecosystem is crucial to evaluating the future potential of a cryptocurrency market product roadmap roadmap should offer a clear outline of all the future development of a cryptocurrency project therefore the roadmap should show you outlining what to expect from that project in the future including things like testnet release dates newly planned futures traders and investors can use this roadmap to measure the achievement of milestone if they are accomplishing what they promise to accomplish as time goes on tokenomics and utility tokenomics refers to the economics of supply and demand cryptocurrency traders and investors believe that supply and demand drives the value and price of any given cryptocurrency meaning that the higher the demand relatively to supply the higher the price Tokenomics theory also include incentive structure used to motivate behaviors in a blockchain network. Tokens with real-world use cases tend to attract more users and attention, and the utility of a token represents the role it can play. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.